Hey, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everyone. This is your friend Sachin Rakhra, and welcome to our channel, Router and Switches Concepts. If you had not subscribed our channel, please hit subscribe button and click the notification bell icon with all. Okay, so next slide is basically port breakout. So what is port breakout actually, why it is needed and in which scenarios we normally use that. Let me grab my pen again. Okay. So let's assume this 4048, uh, 4148 have, have uh, 10 gig port. Okay. All on this box actually, 48 have uh, 40 port, 48 ports are basically 10 gig and couple of uh, ports are basically 100 gig. So these 100 gig ports we want to connect on maybe, maybe some other switches or maybe some server. Okay. So port breakout is nothing else actually will, if it is hundred gig port, okay. Sorry about my writing actually, if it is hundred gig port, uh, it will it will split into multiple speeds, whatever you want. So the options are basically 10, okay, 40, uh, sorry, uh, 25, 25, 40, and 50. So, if you use 10, if you if you split that thing, it will, it will be it will be a logical, okay? It will be a logical. We have to we have to use the breakout cable for this. If you don't know the breakout cable, let me know in the comments. Actually, I will I will help you with with the detail of that also. Okay, so uh, breakout cable. In that case, on this side, it will be a single port. Physically, it will be a single port. On other side, it will be 10 cables, which will be uh, 10 gig each. Okay. Likewise, if if we are if we are using this port, okay, 100 gig port into 50, in that case, there will be two cables. Okay. Each will be 50. So if it is a 25 gig port, so likewise it will be four uh, cables on the other side. Okay, you can you can connect into same switch or maybe maybe into different switches. Does not matter. Okay, so we'll see why and how we can configure this port mapping. Okay, so let me clear this. Okay, let's jump into let's jump into the lab part and see how we can do that. So. I just want to show you something on these switches. Show run. Okay. So if you noticed, if you can notice actually, it says interface breakout one by one by 25 map 100. Right now, it is mapped as a 100 gig port. Okay. So if you want to map up to different speed level or speed uh, requirement, you can do that actually. So what we have to do, we have to go in config mode and then type interface breakout, uh, which port we want to, we want to use 25, okay. Number 25 map and then hit enter. So if you can see there are, there are four options, 10 gig, 25 gig, 50 gig and 100 gig. 100 gig is right now you see, okay. So before hitting enter, actually, I just want to show you something. Do show IP interface. Uh, is interface brief. Okay, so where is 25? Okay, here is the 25. So if you see right now, 25 is a single port. Okay, let's let's change this thing to uh, to maybe maybe 10. Okay, we'll we'll go with 10 right now. Okay, so interface interface breakout map not map okay the port number one by one by 25 map 10. 10 g okay am i missing something okay i'm missing a space into this so Thank you. 
okay so it will it will convert on this on this model it will convert into four ports only but in in some models actually it will convert into 10 ports okay so we'll see what is the what is the interface type now whether it gives 10 gig ethernet or whatever so let me filter that with 25 okay so now the type is basically 25 colon 1 so this port is basically having 10 gig speed so this port also having 10 gig port speed this is also 10 gig and this is also 10 gig so this is how how you basically change the uh, change the speed of the port uh, or port mapping you port breakout you you do actually let me try uh, with let's assume 50 okay so in this case it will create two ports so okay Okay, first of all, we have to remove that command and then, then it will allow us to do or convert convert that thing actually to convert that thing into 50 gig. Okay, so let's let me try this. Okay, so it converted. Okay, so if you can see here, it says one by one by one by uh, 25 colon one and three the center two and five it has been removed or it has been non-assigned here okay so grab one by one by 25 okay so you can see it is basically showing this port is basically do show interface it should show somewhere that it is a it is a 25 gig port. it is a 50 gig port that's it okay it will not show here because because link is not connected it says link line speed is zero actually negotiation is off and off so once once the cable is connected and uh, the far end side also negotiates on 50 uh, gig it will it will show you that it is a 50 gig interface okay so this is the interface uh, show interface looks like in in dell os10 device actually okay so same thing mac addresses current mac addresses and an interface index is 75 actually and ethernet is not set uh internet address is not set that means ip address is not set mode is ipv4 and assigned is not set actually ipv6 is also disabled okay what is the mtu size this is the mtu size you can increase the mtu size actually based on based on your requirement and this is the link link speed and negotiation part and all the stuff and apart from that the input and output statistics what is the uh what is that uh how much traffic you we are running through this interface and all. Okay, so let's see what we have on uh, our next slide. Hope this video is informative to you and it will help you to learn your networking skills. If you had not already subscribed our channel, please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for all the notification of our new videos. Thank you.